guys! Today's video is something a little bit different. I have recently moved Theo into his own bedroom uh, and I've realised that I need a nursing chair in there because he still wakes up a couple of times in the night and needs a feed. So I went to Ikea the other day and I picked up a Poirin chair and I am going to put it together for you and show you whether it's easy or not, I hope it is. And then I'm going to do a little review of the chair and show you what it looks like in place in the nursery. So let's get started. So first we take everything out of the box and lay it out. There's not that many pieces to the chair, it's fairly self-explanatory. Do read the instructions thoroughly before you start. I didn't do this and as you can see from this bit I ended up doing it wrong because I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. I do blame lack of sleep for this uh, because my brain just doesn't function like it did before I had a baby when I used to get a full night's sleep. So all the slats just fit in um, to the back two pieces of the chair and then all you do there are some screws in the bag um, that you just secure them in with. There are two lengths of screws, um, so, or rather two thicknesses of screws, so just be careful that you are choosing the right ones, one set doesn't fit so it's not that difficult, um, but I kept trying to put the thicker ones in so maybe get them out beforehand so that they're all there ready for you, or you, or you screw them in with as you do with most IKEA furniture, uh, and then it's pretty easy just cross both sides, screwing them in. Then you take the seat part of the chair with the canvas base and again it just slots over the top of the frame and you secure it into place with allen keys and two of the little screws. It's a little bit fiddly this bit, line up. I'm sure there might be a better way for you to hold the two pieces. Then you slide two more struts into the canvas into each end of the canvas and again secure them down onto the frame with an allen key and a screw. Okay, so now you're ready to put the arms onto the chair. Do make sure that you put the right arm on. So there are three holes on the side of one arm and one on the other. The one where there's one hole should be the outside. I notice here that I've put it on the wrong way, uh, so I have to take it off. So the top of the arm attaches to the chair with one of the long metal screws and then you put a washer in between the chair and the frame. So the metal dowel goes into the middle hole of the three holes um, and here I am trying to put it in the wrong hole. Um, I do eventually then realise that that's not where it goes. So the, the moral of this story is don't try to force something into a position of a place where it's not meant to be. Um, I couldn't then get it out so I just had to take it to one side and use a spanner to pull it out because I'm an idiot. Um, so now in the right place, again over the washer on the side of the chair, secure into place with the long screw and the allen key. Then you add the extra struts in to the base and the front of the chair for strength. Uh, these have um, the screw but they have the little pieces, I um, don't know what you'd call them, that create a sort of thread for the screw at the bottom that you screw them into so they go into a little hole 
on the side of the straw and the screw goes in the top. Again, at this point I did it wrong, so just make sure that you are putting the right sides upwards or outwards. Um, so there's a rough side and a smooth side that matches the rest of the chair. As you can see, the colour of the strut is completely different to the rest of the chair here. So I'm just undoing it so that I can turn them round. And then you see that now it matches. Um, again, if a normal person was doing this, who'd had a good night's sleep, then perhaps they wouldn't have done it wrong. Now you turn the chair over and you attach the other arm in the same way as you did the first arm onto the metal dowel put the washer between the arm and the chair and the back and then secure it into place with the screw and the allen key So it took me all in all probably about half an hour to get it done and that's including the numerous times that I did it wrong and I had to take it apart and redo it. So it is really easy to fit together. Um, it doesn't take a lot of brute strength or force um, and all it, the instructions are really straightforward. Um, so now all that's left is to put the cushion on it and put it in place in the nursery. So here it is all finished and in position in our nursery. So, oh, sitting in it is delightful. When I went to Ikea to pick the chair, um, I chose from three different chairs that were all quite similar. So there was this one which is the Poang, there was the Poang rocking chair and then there's sort of a budget version of this which was about £40. Um, the reason that I didn't choose the rocking chair is because it's bigger than this one. This is only tiny room. I do have a really bad habit of buying furniture that's too big for a room and then just cramming it in and I really try to resist that. This is still a big chair but we've still got room to move around. Um, so yeah, I would have loved the rocking chair but that one was out. This one does still have some bounce to it so you can get a rock going. Not as much as a rocking chair, obviously, um, but enough, you know, for to, if you need to calm a baby then you've got enough scope for that. Um, the reason that I didn't choose a budget version was because, um, I don't know if you can tell, you should have been able to see when I was putting it together from the frame, it's got a really nice curve here for your lower back, so when you sit down you feel really, really supported. The cheaper version didn't have that, um, or if it did it wasn't as notable, noticeable as this one. Um, this is so comfy for me, it fits me perfectly. Um, it does have a headrest, uh, which you can see there, um, which just attaches with these little leather straps um, by press studs over the back str um, struts. Um, this isn't very comfy for me, um, it sort of I think fits at a weird angle because I'm quite tall so um, all I've done is just flipped it over the back and put it down out the way, um, which is fine. I really like the height of the arms, I have tried the chair with the baby. Um, it's a really good height for just resting your arm while you're breastfeeding, um, which is nice because it's just a really natural height and also it's a natural height for Theo's legs so they fit nicely over the side. What I've found with sitting in chairs with arms is that often it's, you know, he's a very long baby so do you wedge his legs under, do you put them over and then they're at an angle and you know it's not very comfortable for him. This is comfortable for us both which I think, you know, is a big bonus. It's a really... Um, big plus point for me and I really like it. I think in terms of downsides the only real downside that I think I'd give is 
and it's not even a big one, is that it's quite low. Um, so you've got to use the strength in your legs just to um, get you and the baby up because you won't have your arms. It's not any more difficult really than getting off the sofa, um, I don't think. So it's not, re it's not really a downside, but it's probably something to be aware of if you do struggle um, getting up and down. But I've found that your legs do get stronger when you've got a baby anyway, because you're constantly getting up with no hands. So yeah, um, all in all, I think this is a great chair. It was £75. The cover and frame are interchangeable. So the frame comes in about five different colours, starting from light wood, going to through to dark wood and they have a couple of special colours at the moment yellow and orange I think and they have ombre covers to match um, the covers come in lots of different you know solid colours patterns um, and also they have some leather covers if you wanted to pay a bit extra to get a leather cover for your chair um, but again all interchangeable I obviously chose black and white because I love it and I really like the light wooden sort of traditional Scandi vibes um, and I think it fits in really nicely uh, with the decor in here um, so I think £75 for a good solid chair that's really comfy is a really good investment. Um, you know, like I say, there's going to be plenty of times when I'm going to be in here in the night with him, even though six months old, you know, there's teething and there's times when he's going to be poorly or times when he's just going to be upset in the night. Um, and I will be really happy to come and sit in here with this. I actually think it's comfier than our sofa. Um, so when it's finished, it might make its way into the lounge and we'll just get rid of one of the sofas. It was, you know, it was easy to put together. I know I went wrong a few times, um, but that's just because I'm tired and a bit stupid. Um, if you did notice that a piece fell out while I was putting it together, um, I did put that back in. I noticed as I came in here that there was a piece on the landing, realised it was just out of one of these bits. So I took the side off, put that back in. So it is all structurally sound and in the right place. You know, it would only have taken a normal person probably about 20 minutes to put together and it feels lovely and solid and the box was nice and small so I had Theo with me in Ikea and I was on my own and I brought that home on my own um, I didn't need any assistance which made me feel like superwoman like honestly I came home from Ikea on a massive high I only went to look and then I was going to get Lee to go and get it and did it myself like mm, yeah Heather Small's Proud was playing uh, when I realised I could get it home myself and I was like mm -mm -mm, strutting, strutting around Ikea. Um, so yeah, it's, honestly I couldn't be happier with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love it if you subscribed to see more from me. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and I'll see you soon. Bye.